Welcome back to the second part of my Harper's Brewing Company beer ale review. Um, you've probably just seen or seen the day whenever I released it, uh, the Amber Ale, that one, which I didn't exactly think a lot of to be fair. Uh, I am now moving on to the Golden Ale, textured like sun. Uh, this one is only a 4.1% uh, in a 500 milliliter bottle. I found it in the Aldi. Um, I wanted to take June up the Asda, she didn't want to go, so I ended up taking myself up the Aldi. Um, isn't that right, June? June's busy. Um, this is brewed with pale biscuit flavoured malts and a top. Oh, it's got tropical fucking hops for a fruity finish. But to be fair, I have tried the Robbie Knox beer and that was very nice. It was orangey. I've never had an orangey beer before. It wasn't the bitterness that you get with some of them. You don't get the zesty of the, the lime and that. Orange is a, a more delicate flavour. It's not so harsh on your tongue and stuff like that. So, know your limits. A load of crap on the back. If you're not entirely satisfied with this product, please return to the store where it was purchased and we'll be uh, pleased to replace it or refund it. How does that work? People out there in the beer land. So I've got black on my film. I've been uh, masticking. Um, how does that work? Do you like tip it back into the bottle and then try and twat the lid back on? Or do you just take the empty bottle back and say that was shit and get your money back? How does it work? Has anybody actually ever done that before? Because I find that hard to believe that somebody would empty, uh, open a bottle, think that's shit, uh, and then take it back. Now I could understand if you bought a box of them or like 12 bottles or something like that and you didn't like it you didn't like you had the first one you didn't like it you had the second one and thought that was shit and you take the rest back i can understand but just one bottle <coughs> on the wall i don't get it so i don't know the price so don't fucking ask <sighs> fucking hell oh. Dude, just smell that. Yeah. Dude, give it a bit of a ugh. Now, I was looking forward to this one because I wasn't looking forward to the other one. I suppose I need to do a thumbnail, don't I? Um. I wasn't looking forward to that one, but I was looking forward to this one because it looks quite appetising, it looks beerish, it looks lagerish, it looks quite, you know, drinkable. Stinks fucking awful. You know, right, any of you out there that used to play football, right, and then, like, you'd leave your kit in the bag and it stinks, and then, like, your mum or your wife or whoever gets it out to wash it on a Wednesday, that's what that fucker stinks like. Doesn't it, June? What? Smells like stale football kit. It smells stale? Just fucking hell. It's fucking horrible. <sighs> now I take a pride in myself that normally when I open a drink of a can or a bottle or whatever, I do drink the fucking lot because that's what it's about. Once you start something, you finish it. It's like having a child and you call it ginge, right? You don't just dump it, 
couple of days in, because it's shit itself or whatever, you take it and you make it into the thing that you want it to be. You know, you turn it, you help grow it into a person that just sits on its bed on the fucking iPhone all day doing fuck all. Um, and this is what I think with beers as well. You open a beer, you should drink it. You should um, do your best to drink it. This is going to be fucking hard work. <laughs> Not impressed. Not impressed with either of them, to be fair. I honestly don't know, right? The... Aldi. Aldi. And this is th this is another question. Uh, you beer tubers or people who think they know about beer or whatever. Or just drink this stuff to look fucking fashionable with the mates or what. Let me know. Do, do, do places like Harper, do companies like Harper's go up to Aldi and say, here's our beer, and they'll say, yeah, that's all right, but can you make it cheaper? So they have to leave a little something out. They have to take some of the, they have to use shittier ingredients. Because I don't think, if, if I was Harper's and I went to Aldi and they went, can you make me a, a cheap shit beer for our shelves? I think I'd be turning around and saying, no, we're not doing it because I can't honestly believe that a company would make this. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. One second. One second. Harper's. Uh, Golden Ale. Any good, right? Let's see what he comes back with. Right, I just sent Scott a message. Is Harper's Golden Ale any good? Now, no doubt, probably Chris will fucking reply, and he's a butcher. So we're just waiting for. Here we go. Right. It's not what the, it's not one that comes to mind. Well, I'm going to tell him it's shit. It's shit. Um, I don't know. It just, it's just got, it's just stale. It just don't. And I think if this, if Harper's have actually made this for Aldi and they've said, yeah, this is what we're looking for because people will drink it because they think it's trendy because it's an ale because it's whatever then Harper's, you've done yourselves in. And if that is your beer, Harper's, then I think I'll have another fucking look. Oh, right. Scott says most of Harper's range is shit. Mm. Oh, I'm reviewing them now. I'm struggling with this. I'm gonna have another bag of crisps, I think. Do you want a packet of crisps, Judy Bay there? Yeah. Pretzels. I changed my mind. I've gone for the pretzels. Bobby's pretzels. I hope Bobby doesn't mind. Oh dear. Scott's just reviewed a beer as well. And uh, it's shite. So get over to his channel or what him and Wanda's channel. Mm. I've seen the beer. Was that you, June, or the dog? Sorry, it's me. <laughs> it's like living with a fucking navvy sometimes, isn't it, June? It 
I've seen the beer that Scott's um, has just reviewed, um, and the packaging looked absolutely brilliant. Obviously, he's not impressed with the beer, and um, he will tell everybody that. So, I'm sorry, but Harper's, if you're brewing blanks and making that, that is, that is just shit. That is one of the worst beers I've ever tasted. And, and this is, the, the best thing is, I prefer that one more. And I don't... Do you know what? I hate slagging a company off when it's times like this. But who said that was any good? Did somebody actually drink that and think that was brilliant? I'd love to know what people think in the comments below, down below. Is Harper's Brewing Company Golden Ale? Chris has just filmed a noodle video. Unbelievable. Um, is Harper's Brewing Company any good? I would absolutely love to know what people's comments are down below. Uh, because I just cannot honestly understand how that has... I always find things like this that if you need something to be successful just make it simple right people like simple stuff if it ain't broke don't fix it there's no sticking plaster in the there's no sticking plaster big enough in the fucking world that will make that any better oh, fuck's sake that just smells of stale football kit You've played on a Sunday, right? Because what happened is, the lads used to play on a Saturday and they'd wear their shorts or their lucky pants or whatever and the socks that go under the socks because that, right? And it'd be wet, so they'd take them out and then we'd all go out on the piss on a Saturday then we'd get up for Sunday morning football and we'd put the same stuff back on. And, and then, sometimes, the kit would just stink till Wednesday, till it was washed. And this is what this is. This shouldn't be called golden ale. It should be smells like football kit. Ale. I've got to eat them to drink that. Right. Wish me luck. I'm go Wish me luck, June. I'm going in. Will you stop licking me leg? Stupid dog. One. Two. Shall we go on the count of three? One, two, three. I did a boogaloo, electric boogaloo once from a company that used to sponsor me and I drank something and it was horrible and it made me shake and that is as bad as that I don't understand beers I just don't get it ladies